Hi everyone, I recently posted a review of this flare power bank from Cherry Mobile. It's meant to be 10,000 milliamp hour, but in my test it only put out around 6,200 milliamp hour, which is far below what you'd expect. So what I want to do today is actually try and open this thing up and have a look at what's inside. Now I'm guessing that this top cover comes off and then maybe there's some screws underneath. Now if I try and go from this angle, I'm probably going to end up scratching the plastic, so I'm going to try and get under the USB port and see if I can do it like that. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. See it's lifting there. As much as possible, I don't want to ruin this thing. There we go, that's the top off. Just a bit of double-sided tape holding that in place. Okay, those are some very, very, very deep screws. I'm not sure if I've got a screwdriver that's deep enough to fit in there. Let's see if this fits. I've never seen screws recessed quite that far. Aha, uh -huh. not far enough though, because we are in. Okay, that's the four screws out. Let's try and pop off the top. Okay, there we go. We can see the two USB ports. We can see the control circuitry board. There's really not much in there. Let's see if we can get the battery cells out. So here's a better look at the board itself. There's really not much on there at all. It's very, very limited. Here's a model number or something that we can probably look up later. Now looking at these batteries, they've got like a bump at the top. I'm guessing that's uh, protection for each cell, but we won't know until we open it up, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So we found some more screws hidden at the bottom. Let's remove these. So there's like a, a bar joining all the batteries at the bottom, of course, because it's, you know, they're in parallel. You've also got this bar at the top, which is covered with this protective tape. Um, Maybe I can just push the batteries out from the bottom. Ah uh, yes, there we go. So now we can see what kind of batteries they are. Apparently they were manufactured on 19th of June, so very, very recent, uh, by CinoWatt, and apparently they're 3,300 milliamp hour. So 3,300 milliamp hour times by three, that's 9,900 milliamp hour. But of course you can't always trust this because sometimes they just print, you know, absolute nonsense on the batteries. Now what I find strange is there are holes in the insulation. Now in fairness, I could have made those when I was trying to remove the batteries. So I honestly can't be 100% sure if I made those holes or if they were already there. But the problem with having holes in the insulation is that that is actually the negative side of the battery. Let me show you. If I put one probe on this exposed part here through the insulation and then one on the bottom of the battery, the negative, you can see there's continuity. Um, so that is actually a problem. I probably put a bit of tape over that. Whether it was me or whether it was like that already, it's really not ideal to have that. So this is what my plan is. I'm gonna fully charge the power bank. You can see it's charging now. And then I'm gonna desolder the batteries from this control circuit board. Then I'm gonna use my dummy load and my watt meter to run the same measurements I ran before, but this time going directly from the batteries. So if there are any losses in this control circuitry going up to five volts, etc., we won't have that problem. And then I think there'll be no question over, is this a genuine 10,000 milliamp hour power bank or is it not? The power bank's fully charged and it's time to desolder the battery pack. There we go, that didn't take much. Now we've got our control board and our batteries completely separate and we can put these through their own testing. So here we go, we've now got the batteries going through my watt meter and then into this dummy load. Now I have to be very careful to monitor this because I don't want to run the batteries so low that it destroys them. So let's bring up our adjustable load to around one amp. There we go. So the battery voltage is currently dropped around 3.8 volts under load with a one amp load. I have a feeling that this board is not the one that's stopping the power output when the batteries get low, but instead it's relying on the built-in circuitry of the batteries. So that's what I'm gonna do as well. I'm just gonna let it run until these batteries stop outputting power. So quick update, it's been running for around four hours. The current output is 14.96 watt hours and the batteries are down to 3.44 volts. Now literally, just as I said that, I turned off my watt meter like an idiot. Anyway, fortunately, I literally just recorded what the numbers are, so we can just add those on at the end, so we haven't lost anything. So I'm a little bit worried now because the batteries have already dropped down. Well, wow, it just jumped from three volts to 2.7 volts right in front of my eyes. And why does it say it's drawing 1.8 amp? Okay, 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 let's disconnect this. 
something just went terribly, terribly wrong. Um, I think we're going to call it a day. So let me write down what the output is. So earlier we had 14.95 watt hours, and now we've got 11.2 watt hours. I'm pretty sure these batteries were about to have a meltdown because they just went completely nuts. I'm just going to go over these numbers quickly with a sharpie because they're not really showing up very well on camera. So we got 14.95 watt hours, then I accidentally turned it off but turned it on again immediately and we got another 11.2 watt hours. So we got a total of 26.15 watt hours. Now that is higher than earlier because earlier we only got around 23 watt hours. But that still only works out to around 7000 milliamp hour. Now 7000 is not close to 10,000. So yes, this circuitry does waste a little bit of power, and we know that anyway, we expected that. But we went from 23 to 26 watt hours, that's still not enough, that's still only around 7000 milliamp hour. So yeah, I really don't think this is a genuine 10,000 milliamp hour battery pack.